Hey guys, Ash here from CurseFirmware.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware of your rooted Samsung device while maintaining root. So guys, when we root our devices, uh, we go ahead and lose the over-the-air functionality to receive updates. So uh, if you want to stay on stock rooted ROMs, stock rooted firmware and you just want to update to Samsung's latest firmware and while maintaining root, this is the tutorial you need to follow. All right, this works for a uh, uh, you know for a lot of devices from the Galaxy Note, the Galaxy Note 2, the Samsung Galaxy S2, the Galaxy Nexus, the S3, and so on. This is the total compatibility list here as of today, and today uh, is the 11th, or, I mean 10th of November 2012, and uh, this list can be found in the description. So go ahead and check it out and confirm that your phone is on the list. And if you're not sure what your model number is, uh, what you need to do is just go into settings and go to about device and it'll uh, the model number will show your model number so uh, and no matter if you're on a tablet or a phone this is what you need to do alright so for this uh, video I'm gonna use the Galaxy Note GT N7000 as an example so what you need to do here guys is just go ahead and head on over to sammobile.com and once you once you've uh, once you have the site opened up, just go ahead and register and log in. All right, it's free. The registration is free. Just go ahead, register, log in, and then go ahead and click on firmware. So over here, just type in the model number of the of the device that you want to update. In this case, I'm, since I'm using the GTN 7000, that is the original Galaxy Note, as an example here, I'm going to search for firmwares for it. All right, once you hit enter, you will get a list of firmwares for the device. So over here, you, if you can, if you notice, the firmware is sorted in uh, you know in order of release. The newest release is on top, and the oldest ones on the older ones on the bottom. So that's October, September, August, and so on. So this is the second column is the country slash carrier. So go ahead and find out, uh, pick the firmware for your uh, country or carrier. So since I'm from India, this is the latest release for India. So just go ahead, I'm just going to go ahead and hit download. It'll take me to hot file. And I have a premium account. If you don't, you just need to go ahead, click on regular download and download the file. I've already downloaded it. So guys, once the firmware is downloaded, just right click and uh, right click and extract it. You need to use WinRAR for it. So uh, you will get two files, uh, a .tar.md file and a DLL file. Forget the DLL file. Just cut the uh, just copy or cut the .tar.md file file and paste it onto your external card or your internal memory. All right, guys. Now that the file is transferred, you can just unplug your phone and let's move, move on to the phone part of the tutorial and open up the Play Store on your device. And go hit the search bar, search option, and search for mobile. Odin. So that's the one. Mobile Odin Pro. This is a paid app, and I would I strongly suggest you guys purchase it. As long as your device is listed as compatible, you can go ahead and buy it. It's very useful. So just purchase it and hit install. So we have mobile Odin downloaded, so just open it up and hit download. It will ask for ask to download some files, so just hit download, wait for it to complete. Alright, no thanks. And uh, guys, you might be asked to grant super user privileges, just hit grant or accept when you are. Now go ahead, hit open file. And internal or external SD card depending on where you transfer the file. And now select it the N7000, the file that you downloaded. Okay. And now scroll down. Make sure that enable ever root, inject super user and inject mobile loader are selected. And guys, it's always safe to wipe your data and wipe Dalvik cache uh, when you do this. So select that and hit flash firmware. And over here, you can go ahead and check the MD5 signatures to make sure that the file you downloaded, 
the file downloaded fully and correctly there are no errors and whatever but uh, uh, I've downloaded this earlier and I've, I've actually run through this whole video before I actually shot it so I'm gonna skip it Sorry guys, I ran out of battery on my cam. I'm shooting this on the Galaxy Note 2 cam, so just uh, sorry for the break in the video. So I'm just gonna run through the setup quickly. settings and there you have it guys uh, DDLR9 that's the latest Indian release so uh, just to show you guys that we still have root access you have super SU you can update it from the uh, play store if needed and just opening up mobile Odin and there you see super user privileges have been granted so you still have root access and you've upgraded to the latest official update from Samsung so that's pretty much it guys when it comes to uh, updating the firmware on your rooted Samsung Galaxy devices uh, uh, there are a few uh, fixes in case you run into issues that I'm going to tell you right now the first one being if your phone does if you do not go into the blue color Android screen just go ahead and uh, hit flash firmware again alright that is once you hit flash firmware if your device just reboots just go back into mobile load and, and do the same selections and hit flash firmware again and it'll it'll work or if uh, the blue color android screen opens up and you get stuck over there then again just pull your battery out or you know just uh, turn off the device and turn it back on and go ahead and redo the mobile load and flash firmware step again alright the worst case scenario if you get stuck and you're not, you're not able to boot back in what you need to do is go ahead and flash uh, the firmware using PC Odin and then root the phone again using any of my root tutorials alright uh, for most of the devices Galaxy S2, S3 uh, Note, Note 2 I've got the uh, what do you say the root uh, the root uh, tutorials for them alright for the rest you can find it easily on XTA or on YouTube and uh, how do you flash your firmware via PC Odin the link is in the description go ahead check that out these are the worst case scenarios if you're stuck don't panic and uh, if you still need help you can hit us up at cursepower.com slash forums again the link is in the description so that's pretty much it for this video guys uh, thanks a lot for watching before you go you make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons please uh, and if you want to stay updated uh, with my latest updates and videos and so on or if you want to make any requests you can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus again all my contact details are in the description and if you guys do want to help me out you can use my links to Amazon from the description uh, you don't have to necessarily purchase uh, smartphone related stuff if there is anything that you want to order online and if you can order it off Amazon just go through my links go ahead search for what you want once you're, once you're in Amazon and uh, every time you place an order I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks so that is if you guys do want to help me out so that's pretty much it guys like I said once again thanks a lot for watching and uh, stay subscribed I'll see you guys soon with more videos till then you guys have a great day bye bye now